What's up, good people? I'm gonna be a little shaky here because um, I'm, I'm riding in the back while my trainer is driving, but I wanted to check in and tell all of my subscribers hi if you're just seeing this. Um, please like it and subscribe to my channel for this is the African channel the most original channel around YouTube at this particular time. Uh, and I am your host, Robert Kendra Carter. You can call me African too. Um, I'm over on the East Coast again, and I just got a little story. Like, um, by Friday, I should be back in, in Dallas, and getting my own truck um, at some point in time, maybe next week. I, I don't know the process. I have been driving a great deal. Um, how you say, how you say, uh, I've been going from the East Coast to the West Coast. I am at my fourth week of uh, I actually lied. My fourth week was last week. It would have been the 28th uh, of, of the month. But I want to believe that God bless his heart. I forgive him before. I want to believe that my trainer kind of treated me. Let's see. What do you call it? Uh, I want to say perjury, but it's not perjury. <laughs> but the part of perjury that has to deal with omission and omitting um, things that uh, probably should be said or done, um, and 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 I'm still here. I feel like because I'm such a good driver, uh, no accidents, you know, making those turns, woo woo, you know doing what I do um, that he's been able to bank and I, I feel like I feel like instead of being more pushed towards getting me out um, and back to where I need to be um, I, I feel more like I, I've been being used to kind of fat in the pocket and, and that and, and and I guess that's to be expected I was told to be or should I say I was warned about that actually trying to uh, the other should I say the trainer trying to do that I'm a little bit bitter but I took some action today and emailed um, to find out what my status was so that I could get some comprehensive understanding or response to where I am supposed to be in this process. I mean, we were in Texas just last week. Y'all see my hand in my glasses? Y'all see the glare? Hey, how y'all doing? What's up? I'm not sticking up my <laughs> I'm not sticking up my finger at anyone. But all I'm trying to say is, I been could have been off this truck, dog. I been could have been gone and getting my own truck. But I'm still here. The experience is good. Um, we were in Texas last week. I think that's where I was going. We were in Texas last week. Then we went to California. I thought I was going to go back to Texas because I'm like, you know, I don't bet I have mine. I'm doing pretty good. Hell, we going all the way to North Carolina. I live right in South Carolina. Well, that's my home. I don't live there anymore. That's like 2,005, 6, 700 freaking miles. He going to get paid. And I'm still getting a measly six fifty. If y'all hear me talk like that, I'm I'm from Charleston, South Carolina. I don't know if y'all know anything about being Geechee, but when you from Charleston and you talk like this right here, that means you Geechee. 
it's a whole historical context behind it, the Gullah culture, and then the, uh, should I say, the descendants from uh, those of our enslaved ancestors uh, who came upon the shores of Charleston, or should I say the low country, you got Savannah, in some parts of Georgia, so to speak. Even a lot of people think I sound like people from Louisiana. There's an African retention, a tone in the voice, and you sound like this right here. We are boy Guanta. And I just simply say, where are you all going? <laughs> but I said, where y'all boy Guanta? Where are you all going? Where are you boys going to, if you want to be grammatically correct? I don't know how we got on that, but I told y'all it was going to be a historical channel, religious channel, and all of that good stuff, too. Uh, but anyway, 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 let's do one thing at a time, Robert. Okay. So we come to North Carolina, and now... When I sent my email today, I was like, to the fleet manager, like, hey, um, I'm just sending this email to check on the status um, of, of, of training for me. It's just in my process in this uh, status. I want to make sure that I'm in full compliance. I also want to make sure that I am on schedule with the process like no more than an hour you gonna talk about the colleagues back to Dallas yeah they been gonna call if you had done what you were supposed to be doing by getting me there cause I'm I'm serious like it's been people who I talked to, you know, we talk, rookies talk, that been off their truck, even at 130 hours, I'm, oh, I'm like at two, I'll be way well over 275 hours by the time I get back to Dallas, I know that much, but when I get my own truck, and can be loud, obnoxious. Uh, I can't think of no other kind of words. I have to that one. That's right. When I can do what the hell I want to do in my truck, I will let y'all know more about this experience. Right now, I'm respecting the spirit of uh, this truck. I don't want to be a backstabber. <laughs> but it's been a journey, children. It has been quite a journey. Quite a journey. And I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. So right now I'm in North Carolina, so I'm not going to talk about, about it anymore. But I'm um, y'all, I'm almost, I can smell. I can smell Dallas. Riding in the back of this truck. Uh, I can smell the solo driving experience. That's just how close I am. Y'all excuse me, scratching my nose, scratching my head, moving around and carrying on. But like I said, we organic over here. We original over here. It is what it is. It's been nine minutes and 27 seconds. That's that's that old lady look. It's been nine minutes and 33 seconds now. And I'm going to leave you. But guess what? 